here bringing you another review this time on Hajimete no Gao. This episode was a little less I guess etchy than the first one. I did enjoy this one a little bit more. I gotta say though Juinchi's imagination runs wild and it was funny to watch how this guy was pretty much struggling with his personalities. Uh, the perverted superhero one, the loser, I guess, and the, uh, I guess the, uh, what's the other one what I would call it? I, I guess I would say the, uh, the pessimistic. Uh, but yeah, but then the cool one shows up and everything's like, yeah, we gotta follow him and, you know, there's a certain way of doing these things, but... You know, I, I just thought that was funny. You know, I hadn't seen that in a character in a while where it's like someone who's really uh, trying to have a hard time deciding what they want to do. You know, I think uh, one that I can recall but isn't a male or a female is uh, Yamada and her first time. It feels as though this is that kind of feel, you know. This definitely relates to it except it's the opposite. So, I definitely, I could see it. But... At first, you know, we start off with the episode with the him and his friends, and that dude that honestly is annoying, you know, is like always asking, you know, hey, you know, does uh, where's the little girls at? Like that dude is annoying, it's creepy. I'm not even gonna remember his name. I probably wouldn't even say his name throughout this whole, like, series, because honestly, I do not care for that character. I do not like him. But we have Shinpei and all of them just kind of like apologizing for what they did to Juichi. He basically is just like, oh wait, that's right, you guys are the ones that did this to me. You know, you're the ones that made me ask her out. You forced it on me. But when Yamasan actually sends a text, like a selfie to him, they see it. And they're just automatically changed. Like, you know, because they were saying, you know, we're going to be with you. We're gonna, no matter what they say, we'll always be your friend. You know, we'll always be there. And of course, it's expected. You know, they turn their back on him. But it was funny when he mentions that he worked at a karaoke and that he that he's actually there's like a three step process where it's like first the girl sings lovey dovey songs or perverted songs, then you guys sing a duet, and at the end the girl takes off her clothes and then you guys do it. So I'm like, <laughs> really? Like that's really what you like? You really think that's going to happen? And you know, he's like, it, it happens, you know, it's like, it, it, it could happen, it's, it's very likely, but he's in disbelief, they get to the school, and when he's all trouble thinking about this whole thing, and while his imagination is running really wild, he, uh, he is confronted by Kashi-san, the you know, class rep, and it's like, you know, hey, you okay, you know, trying to be nice, I guess, they're worried, you know, but I feel like there's still something with this character, you know, this, she, I think she may like him, you know, there's a certain concern there, I don't know, it's just my, my feeling, you know, anime instinct, I guess you could want to call it, but, you know, Yamasan shows up, latches on to him, and it's like, yeah, we're starting a date, and everyone's surprised, and his friends don't want to be with him, it's like, hey, why, do you, why don't you want to be, you know, like, why don't you want to be with me? He's like, why would we want to be with a virgin? You know, why would you want to be with a virgin like us? And yada, yada, yada. But it's just one of those things where it's like cliche. And I think, honestly, like thinking like a little more ahead of the episode, you know, I think Yamasan was actually trying to make him feel better. Not just because, uh, you know, she wanted to sing, but possibly because, you know, she may have noticed her, her his friends are just kind of acting like buttholes. But she wants to go to karaoke and, you know, they go and he's worried for his life because he's thinking, you know, hey, you know, is something going to happen? We, he, we also see Nene in this episode. Again, I don't like saying that name. But we see the character Nene, you know, seeing them holding hands like, hey, we're dating. And she's like, oh, no, you Onichan, you big dummy, whatever. But we see how, you know, he's just very stiff, just worried about what's going to happen. You know, he's not sure. 
And when he goes in there, he sees that sign that it's like this this room is dedicated to singing only if anything happened. Let there not be anything else happening in this room. He's like, oh no, that's, so they've actually done this. Like Shinpei was right, and it was just it was just funny to see him being worked up. But while they were singing, she was, she seemed to have a good voice. I, I liked hearing that. Uh, she sang a lot of anime songs with him, and like, it seemed like a very good date, you know? It was very nice, I liked that. Um, imagination was a little more limited for him there, because he was just really enjoying himself. And when his cool personality was just kind of like trying to prevail, you know, she basically says, Hey, you have a nose in your, you have a hair in your nose, and he, like, he's like, pretty much ruins it, because he was trying to go for a kiss. And... She basically notices that and just like, you know, hey, I can't kiss. And like, when she leaves to go to the bathroom, she's like, I can't kiss you, you know, so easily. But by the end of the episode, we have them leaving, have a good time and everything. And we also had one of, we had one of uh, Yamisan's friends, uh, Ronko, I believe her name was, just kind of watching. So it, it seems as though the next episode is going to be about how Ronko is going to, I guess, get involved with him, I guess, turn into a harem, like, I feel like she's gonna end up liking him, but, you know, she's probably gonna take matters into her own hands and try to, I guess, get herself involved, but who knows, but pretty much that was it, guys, the episode was, was nice, I enjoyed it, you know, it was, uh, a little better than the first, you know, so, I'm enjoying it, see where this goes, but who knows, but guys, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to subscribe to me, hit that little icon button to know when I upload, and definitely check out my other stuff you know, if you guys like to. But anyway, that is it for me. I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, I will catch you later. I am the king and will not be. I, 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 am, the, I am the I am the king and king king and will not be.